Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. So we, frankly, we just got done filming another video. Um, but it was for uh, Beyond the Row, and we did a five-way blind, and and here there are rankings, and it's coming out very soon on that channel. If you are interested in seeing Jamie and I together, go check out Beyond the Row on the uh, the link above, one side or the other, I'm not sure which one. The video today is really just me talking about my five favorite whiskey experiences so far. We had a, a kind of a meetup of sorts with some folks uh, here in the speakeasy, and Behind us, we have this big family room, and uh, and we had a bunch of folks over, and we had a, just an amazing, amazing experience. And some of the people there said that was the best whiskey experience they have had to date. And it just gave me the idea, like, maybe I'm going to share my five best whiskey experiences so far. And I know that you probably have some great ex whiskey experiences, because that's one of the things that I love about bourbon and whiskey and the community that we have here is that people come together, they share things, they visit, they share samples, they get together on Zoom calls, they have friends and family come over, they save bottles for their kids when they kids grow up. And I mean, there's just so much wonderful about this community that we live in in this bourbon world. And I just want to talk about my personal five favorite experiences. If you enjoy this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Now let's dive into it. My number five experience. This is my fifth best whiskey experience so far. And it's got to be the meetup. So here at Whiskey Row, we've done a number of meetups. We did one in Kentucky. We did one in Atlanta, one in Virginia, one in Maryland. We're going to be doing more coming up this spring. We're really, really excited. Now, at this point, whenever we travel, we just want to meet up with people that we've we've gotten to know through our Discord, for, through our Patreon community on a Discord server, people we've traded bottles with, people we've met on, uh, you know, even on our live streams, whatever. We just, we love the community. We love the meetups. And they've been some of the greatest experiences we had. I will say the first meetup we had was awesome. We had gone to Kentucky. We were in Louisville and we had this meetup. It was the first time we ever did a meetup. We didn't know who was going to show up. It was right before Christmas everybody was busy we went to this place we were petrified nobody was going to show up how embarrassing for us to have a first meetup and nobody show up but we had people show up it was awesome i mean we met some people that we had known and and talked to and just getting to meet them in person and since then we had one here in virginia that was just a huge huge group of folks in maryland we had a great group of folks uh, down in atlanta we had a huge group of folks and just awesome awesome experiences and talk to them about what they've loved about the channel and what they love about certain bourbons and how they, oh, I really agree with you, David, on these certain bourbons, but on these ones, I think you're crazy. Those, I love those kinds of interactions and those experiences. Number four, best experience so far for me, kind of the meetup we had here not too long ago, uh, JB from down in Tennessee uh, came, Gorilla, uh, Fuel Gorilla, uh, Joe, many of you have heard Joe uh, Hinkle, uh, he came uh, with his wife, uh, Tiffany, and uh, Mark B came from Norfolk, Mark, uh, who's been, been great to help us find bottles, and so we, we just had a, a bunch of folks come with some of our local friends came over, and we had an amazing, amazing night of trying and sharing bourbon. So JB came up from Tennessee, and JB has gotten a hold of some just amazing, amazing really hard to find bottles. And uh, and he brought up some special stuff. One of the things he brought up was a William LaRue Weller. I'd only had one sample of it before, before he brought it up. He brought up a bottle, it was barely open, and he's like, everybody just have what you want. I've got, I've got a couple more of these ones. This one is just for us to enjoy tonight. Everybody got to pour and taste and enjoy an amazingly special bottle. I was pulling stuff out of the speakeasy for people to dry. Uh, Joe and Mark brought stuff from home that, that they wanted to share with the group and we were all trying different samples who just wanted to share their love of bourbon, their passion for hunting, collecting, and trying amazing, amazing, delicious bourbons. My number three bourbon experience so far is our Patreon community and our Discord store. We have a the most amazing Patreon community uh, on WhiskeyTube in my opinion and it's not because of me or Jamie or anything we did. It's because of our patrons. We have an amazing group of patrons who come together. They've shared samples with each other. They help each other find bottles. They've come and helped Jamie and I to find stuff that we would normally not have either gotten a hold of or even known about. Um, and so I have to say that my number four best part of my whiskey experiences so far, my number four whiskey experience so far, is the com the Patreon community that we have who have been just absolutely fantastic. So many amazing, amazing people over there. My number two experience. So set the stage for this one. So Jamie... And I went to uh, to Louisville and Lexington, Kentucky. 
uh, last December, it was early December, maybe December 15th, 16th, something like that. It was before the kids were out of school, way before the holiday, but after Thanksgiving kind of thing. We did that. We had a meet up there that was fantastic. Um, we went and saw it. We did a bunch of distillery tours. We did distillery tours at Mictor's Fort Nelson, Old Forester on Whiskey Row. Uh, we went through Maker's Mark. We went through Buffalo Trace. Uh, Rabbit Hole was so gracious. They gave us a private tour. The tours were closed. They gave us a private tour. Just Jamie and I uh, and Adam took us through the whole thing, showed us the whole production facility. Fantastic. Maker's Mark gave us a private tour so we could film all we wanted. Gorgeous grounds. Uh, had the chance to just really experience it in a way that I would have never otherwise been able to experience it. Buffalo Trace was fantastic. Went on the old uh, old ta the E. H. Taylor tour, or whatever it was the old Taylor tour. Uh, it was awesome. We also went through Mictors at Fort Nelson. Had a great tour there on Whiskey Row. We went to um, we went up to the little the cocktail bar upstairs. Had some delicious cocktails up there. Great experience. Got to meet Dan, uh, the Ma Dan McKee, the master distiller there. That was awesome. Never never met him before, and that was very very cool. Ran into him there, and but the best experience of all was from Mictors. So one of the, the Michter's uh, VPs at the time reached out to me, uh, said he was a fan of the channel and said, when we come to Louisville to get in touch with them and, and we did, and he ended up inviting us to the Shively distillery, which is their actual production facility. They don't obviously produce on whiskey row. They produce in, uh, you know, more of an industrial area outside of, outside of downtown in Shively. Kyle took us on a great tour through the production facility, got to see literally the operations, how things are done there at Michter's. So impressive. What an amazing, amazing experience to go through that distillery. And we got to see um, some some really interesting things. We weren't allowed to video a whole lot because it was their actual production facility and they hadn't prepped for us. So uh, we might have filmed stuff that was kind of like trade secrets or company secrets type stuff. To cap it all off is after we went through the tour, we went upstairs to one of their boardrooms. We got to sit down and they poured us a, a flight, a three bottle flight which included Michter's 20 year, Michter's 25 year and Michter's uh, sour mash uh, celebration sour mash. And um that was first of all it was three of the best bourbons slash whiskeys the sour mash is, is not technically a bourbon but three of the best whiskeys that I've ever had in my entire life. And 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 that is part of what has solidified my love of Michter's is the fact that they produce such an amazing, amazing bottles in those three. The 20 year was my favorite and it's still to this day one of my favorite bourbons that I've ever had and definitely competes against William Blue Rueller and, um, and you know, and Handy and, and George T. Stagg and, and the BTAC line. Michter's 25, I didn't like quite as much. It was a little, little over oaked, a little overdone to me. So it was my favorite. But the Michter's Sal Celebration Sour Mash is, in my opinion, still to this day, the best whiskey that has ever crossed my lips. Now, when I when I tasted it, and, and you guys have seen a couple videos where I've had bourbons that were just so explosive and so exceptional and so memory-making that they made me tear up a little bit. And I'm not afraid to admit it because I'm passionate about bourbon. I love bourbon. I love whiskey. I think it is just a, just... The combination of science and artistry and, and passion and love by some of these distilleries and, and master distillers and craftsmen who put these so much effort into these spirits that we drink, they're just passionate about it. I mean, they're, they're, it's not a job. It's literally a passion. And obviously, it pays the bills, but still. So I, But I, I'm also passionate about it in my own way for, for the experiences that I have. And that makes your celebration. Sour Mash was the best whiskey I've ever had, bar none, hands down, case closed. I've had Pappy 23. I've had Pappy 15. You know, I've had a lot of different stuff. King of Kentucky, George T. Stagg, Weller, William Lure Weller, Handy. I haven't had a Double Eagle or an Eagle, uh, 17 year Eagle Rare. But aside uh, from those, some exceptions that I haven't had, I've had a lot of whiskey because of the channel. Uh, I've been really blessed and, and fortunate to, to have people help me taste stuff. And, but this Michter's Celebration Sour Mash was the best whiskey I've ever had. And, and people have said, I know they're coming out with a new one this year. And people have asked me, am I going to try to get it? The bottle's like $6,000 or some ridiculous number. Um, I can't afford it. However, if I had the chance to buy it for $6,000, I'd probably like portion out the bottle and sell off portions of the bottle uh, so I could get a hold of it. And, and I'd, I'd fork up my portion of the bottle in some way to just to try to get it because it is such an exceptionally, exceptionally delicious, delicious whiskey. Number one, my number one bourbon experience, whiskey experience, whatever you want to call it, so far, this channel. When I started this channel, 
Um, it was, you know, I had already created the shelves behind me because I was collecting and I'd gotten passionate about collecting. And I was like, you know, I was watching a bunch of the folks that, that many of you guys watch and who still make videos today. You know, uh, Matt from ADHD Whiskey, uh, Dan and Sean from Bourbon Junkies, Jason C from Mash and Drawing. Those are the people who I watched before I started producing content. And I just think the world of all of them in different ways. They all have different uh, things that are just exceptional in my opinion. They make amazing content and I just think so highly of them. But I was like, you know, I, I kind of have, I'm, I'm passionate about bourbon, but I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm newer to it than many of these folks who've been doing it for years. And, 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 and I want to, I want to share my kind of journey, my, my passion, the, what I'm, what I care about within bourbon and whiskey. And, and I, I wanted to have a voice, I guess. So I started making videos and the channel took off and, and then we are here now. Uh, we've got this channel, we've got Beyond the Row, and and we absolutely love it. We have our Patreon community, our Discord community. We do meetups. We have, we've made so many friends through the channel. Just amazing, amazing people. And it's really opened our eyes to the power of the creative aspects of YouTube. And whether you're passionate about bourbon or you're passionate about uh, dog channels or you're passionate about science or you're passionate, whatever it is, like this medium of YouTube is just it opens so many doors and it's so unique and interesting and but my number one whiskey experience so far is this channel because it's blessed me and and jamie in a way that's allowed us to find stuff that we would have never found here in virginia with the, the abc system the state regulations that we have here it would have never allowed us to meet so many amazing people out there and it's it's, I, I don't want to harp on it, but it's, it's just an exceptional experience to be part of this community. And I don't mean just the community of Whiskey Row. I mean, there's so many other channels out there. There's the ones I mentioned earlier, but there's smaller channels. There's other bigger channels that are doing great, great content. And, and in a, in a way we all kind of work together. I mean, obviously we're competitive in that we're all trying to get time from, from you to watch our videos, but, but they're all, we're all doing trying to you know have our spin have our take uh talk about what we're passionate about within bourbon and it really has kind of developed into this community across youtube of of people who love whiskey and love bourbon and are passionate about it and to me this has been the best experience of of my entire whiskey bourbon experience journey whatever you want to call it so far so those are my top five and i i just have to say that I am so grateful for, for all of you who watch these videos, who support Jamie and I, particularly our Patreons who directly support us financially to get new equipment, to get new bottles, to grow the channel. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We are so thrilled to be making content. We're thrilled to be part of this community. And all I can really say is until next time, find a bottle you love.